All righty, I have a construction update for you guys today. I know there's so few right now. We're just waiting on Moosehorn to finish and it's taking a really long time. Um, so updates on 2025 are a little slower than I would have personally liked myself. But nonetheless, Moosehorn is going vertical. It has been going vertical. And there's been a change that I wasn't expecting. The staircase going over the um, weightless wall. Um, so that's really cool. That's going to make for some epic shots, um, slash viewpoint slash like, it's, like I, it's really cool. I'm a little confused as to why I didn't come down the right, like they're supposed to. Um, but obviously Wonderland has plans for that side of the water slide. Again, Wonderland has commented, um, about future expansion plans for the water park. So it would make sense that they want to utilize as little space as possible for these singular attractions, leaving a lot of space for future growth and development. Um, so yes, they are installing pieces of the water slide while they're still working on the pool itself. Um, still a lot of forms to put in before they pour the concrete for the pool. Then they got to do the flooring of the pool. And then they got to do the walkways leading up to the slide. So still quite a bit of concrete work to do. Um, I personally don't think this slide is opening uh, in the first three weeks of June. So it, it this slide potentially could have a July opening, but that is coming from someone that doesn't know construction projects that well. And like I've said, sometimes construction projects look like they're really far out. And then out of nowhere, within two weeks, they're done. But again, even taking that two-week time frame into account, we're still looking at a week three, week four June opening. So... With training, all that jazz, testing, commissioning, and all that, it's really looking like a July-August attraction, and then it'll close um, for the fall. Um, but nonetheless, there was a surveyor, not a construction worker, not any construction work going on, a surveyor on top of the mountain in a very specific location. They set up some temporary construction fencing, as you can see right there, and he was measuring and spray painting some markings. Obviously, I can't see what those markings are because I'm really far away and we won't be able to make out those. Um, so I don't know, maybe ride Vortex and you'll be able to see them, but uh, still, it's in a very hidden spot. Do I think the coaster is going to exit here? Um, it would be a very complex project for Wonderland to get the coaster to exit here. We're talking um, going underneath Guardian, which is very possible because Guardian is actually attached to the concrete slab. But we're talking passing through vortex support columns in the mountain that go directly down to ground level. So we did see some restructuring going on inside the mountain, so that could suggest that, that is maybe it, but the restructuring did not match with um, the, the thickness of the support columns for Vortex. So it would be a very complex mission for Wonderland to get it to exit here, um, but we'll have to pay attention um, to what's going on. I, I This would be very complex, so I'd be very surprised. Um, it also does not align with the entry port in a straight line, to tunnel three tunnel three does not align in a straight line it would have to enter tunnel three and curve towards here that is very plausible so that is not something i am ruling out but there is a better more direct path with less change needed that the coaster could take so it would be very interesting if they exited this way especially with the coaster coming back on long side the side of the mountain um on that side so We'll have to wait and see. Anyways, thanks so much. Have a good one, guys. Bye.